Hello and welcome to the video by Trump Excel. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video I will show you how to add a conditional column in Power Query. So here I have the sales data and I would go to data and click on from table range. Now this opens my data here and I can add a conditional column here that can check for different conditions that I specify. So let's say that I want to quickly check uh, whether uh, the sales rep is Laura or Stacy and if it is Laura or Stacy then I want to return miss else I want to return a mister and then I want to combine those columns so that it says miss Laura Smith and mister Mark Booth or mister Bob Martin. So to do that I would go to the add column here and I would click on conditional column here. So now when I click on conditional column it opens this add conditional column dialog box and here I can give it a column name so let's call it prefix and uh, here I can check the column name which is a sales uh, rep and now I can specify the condition so let's say if I say the sales rep is equal to and uh, the value here would be Laura Smith or you can use other text conditions such as does not equal to or begins or contains and now I say if this is the value here and you can see it says you can enter a value, you can enter a column or you can enter a parameter. We'll talk about parameter later in this course. But in this case, I want to check if the value is Laura Smith, then the output here should be miss. I'll add another layer of condition to it. So I would say uh, if it is not Laura Smith, but if it is, let's say, Stacy, so Stacy Johnson, then I want miss else if these two conditions are not true otherwise give me mister here and now when I click OK see what happens it inserts this column and now here it checks for these conditions so this here is miss here is miss but for Mark Booth it, it makes uh, mister and for Bob Martin it makes mister so now I can combine these two columns so what I'll do is I would first click on prefix column here because the order in which you click is uh, the order in which it combines. So for example, if I click on sales rep and then I click on prefix and I click on merge, see what happens. It's, it's asking for a separator. I get the separator as space and see what happens. It will add miss and mister at the end because I selected the name, the sales rep name first. Let me delete this. So what you want to do is select the prefix column first, then select sales rep, right click and then click on merge columns and here specify the separator as space and click OK. And now in this case, it would combine these two columns and put it as one column. If you want to keep the original column as is, you will have to come here, go to custom column, need to create a new column. So let's say new name. And here you can combine these two. So you can say prefix, then space, ampersand, sales rep name. And now when I click OK, it will insert a new column here. Similarly, you can check for conditions, you can check for quantity, you can check for price. So for example, if I open conditional column here, you would notice that based on the column that I select here, let's say I select quantity, these conditions would change it becomes equal to not equal to greater than less than it would not be there in the text column in this case if i select date then it becomes then this would change so it becomes does not equal to is before is after these are the uh, the filters or these are the conditions that are specific to the date column so it is important that before you start adding these conditional columns just have a look at the data type and make sure that you have specified the right data type so that it can show you the right conditions. That's it in this video. I hope you found this useful. Thank you and have a nice day.